Just remember the family comes. Where you come around? Where you come around? Where you come around? There's no one who's around. No one is around. Oh, no. Do you think I'll feel their love when your face is on the ground? When your face is on the ground. When you feel your strength is almost gone oh, and your God. arms are getting Baptize babies and the old people. 
uh, or how we say, senior saints, amen, amen. Uh, baptized. We marry the living and we bury the dead and we have the Lord's Supper. Amen, amen, amen. If you have your Bibles and like to read along with me, you're reading from the King James Version of the Bible. I want to thank Reverend Williams for reading the scripture for us. Uh, Psalm 107, 1 and 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18. Let us stand as you are able for the reading of God's holy word. Psalms 107, 1 and 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18. You know when you sick, when you're sick and tired and deep in the hole, then the hole is deep in debt. And in your feelings, it's easy to be ungrateful. It is easy to get down at the mouth. It is easy to feel sorry for yourself. Mm -hmm. But then I opened my Bible in Psalm 107 and 1. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. Yes. For his mercy endured forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Yes. For he is good. Yes. For his mercy endured forever. And then I turn over into the New Testament in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18. And everything, give thanks. For this is God's will in Christ Jesus. Concerning you. Yeah, I? In everything, give thanks. Yeah. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Uh, be grateful. Amen. That's the message for this morning. Be grateful. Amen. Let us pray. Turn about, we ask that you increase. That I might increase. Man from heaven, man from heaven, feed us till we want no more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Be grateful. Be grateful. My brothers and my sisters, as we Gather here today, we are going to expound on the importance of gratitude in our lives as Christians. Yes. We will look into the Word of God and we will remind ourselves of the numerous blessings we have received and express our thankfulness to the Lord right. who is worthy of all of our praise. We will explore the profound impact that gratitude can have in our lives. Let's look at it. First of all, let us understand that gratitude is a command from God. Mm -hmm. Gratitude is indeed, my brothers and my sisters, it is a command from God. God. It is a direct command from God. If you look at 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18, we are explicitly instructed to give thanks yes. in all circumstances. For this is God's will for us in Christ Jesus. Yes. This command underscores the importance of gratitude in our Christian walk. When we express thankfulness, we are in alignment with God's word. We align our hearts with God's will and demonstrate our trust in God's sovereignty. Gratitude is a powerful act of obedience that honors God and acknowledges God's goodness in every aspect of our lives. We are to give thanks to the Lord. For he is good. His love endures forever. Mm -hmm. You see, when you focus on gratitude, yes. you have less time to focus on griping and grumbling. Mm -hmm. When you focus on gratitude, you're able to understand 
that God is good to us than we are to ourselves. Yes. Yes. When you focus on gratitude, you're able to see that it is He who has made us uh -huh. and not we ourselves. Right. When you focus, when I focus on gratitude, I'm able to see that my good days yes. outweigh my bad days. Yes. And I want to complain. Yes. If I've been healthier, more days than I've been sick. Yes. I've had more money, more days than I've been broke. Yes. I've had my car more days than I've not had a car. Yes. When I focus on the goodness of God, yes. then I'm able to ignore all the bad things. Yes, yes I, I've been in jail a couple of days, but I've been more free than I've been in jail. <laughs> We have to look at the good stuff. Yeah, yeah your air might have went out one day or for a week, but you had air more days than you not had air. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. You bounced one or two checks, but you passed by more checks than you bounced, okay? But let, let's make it real, right? Yeah, you, you lucked out of school once, but you, you got more degrees than, than, than you can pay for. So, 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 so focus yes. on the good stuff because it is a command from God. Give thanks to the Lord. For he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in. Christ Jesus, and whatever you do, yes. whether in word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, yeah. the Father, through him. My brothers and my sisters, in the Gospel of Luke, we, we read the story of the ten lepers, Luke 17, 11, and 19, who were healed by Jesus. And only one of them returned to give thanks to Jesus. And he was not only healed physically, but received salvation. Yes. So when you give thanks, not only are you healed in your physical body, mm -hmm. not only are you healed in your finances, mm -hmm. not only are you healed in your romance, but you're healed in your spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Give thanks to the Lord. For he is good. Yes, sir. We ought to give thanks in worship and in prayer. Yes. And we ought to give thanks in worship and in prayer. Yes. Because it is he who has wow. made us. Yes. And not we are saved. Yes. We are the sheep of his pasture. Yes. And so we are the inner. His gates with thanksgiving. Yes. And enter his course with praise. Yes. See, Jesus, God, he is the good shepherd. Yes. And see, the good shepherd takes care of his own. Yes. Not just a regular shepherd. He's a good shepherd. Yes. Amen. And so he looks out for you. He protects us from danger seen and unseen. Yes. You know, that tree that fell in your house. But it didn't fall on your house. You know, that tree that, 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 that fell on your street, but it fell after you left the house, so you were able to go to work. And, and, and so you were able to pay your mortgage one more time. Amen. Pay your rent one more time. Pay your final one more time. Even if you lose everything, like our brother Joe, you can say, naked I came from my mother's womb and naked I will depart this earth. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. But blessed yes. be the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Yes. You see, when you focus on God, you're able to understand that gratitude should be a lifestyle. Yes. Yes. When you wake up in the morning, you ought to say thank you. Amen. Yeah, the righteous brothers might be right on you, but you still say thank you. Thank you that I can still feel this pain. Yeah. And if you're like me, you can say thank you that I feel the pain. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's, it's all about how your body 
working right now. But, but in all things, give thanks for this is the will of the one who is, who was, and shall be. So we ought to worship him because it's a command. We ought to worship God, be grateful in, in worship and in prayer. We ought to be grateful in times of adversity. Yes. You know, trials and tribulations, we ought to be grateful in those times. Right. Instead of being consumed by despair, we should be consumed by hope. Yeah. We should be able to find strength in being grateful and knowing that the same God that was there for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is the same God that's here for us. Amen. You know, as I reflect on our uh, uh, election season, you know, there was a time when we couldn't vote. We used to have to take a test to vote. When let us vote. I know y'all went there. I went there either, but that's how it was for black folks. Right. And then they would intimidate the folks yeah. and tell them, if you go down there and vote, I'm going to take your job away from you. Yeah, right. That's why it's important for us to have our own jobs and our own industries. And we don't have to worry about being scared to go do what we want to do. We won't have to worry about marching and everything right. because we have our own industries. We should have our own hair lines and we should have our own nail shops and all of that. Right. And we ought to be on both ends. We ought to be the suppliers and the users. We ought to have international trade. That's what God has <coughs> commanded us to do. Right. That we ought to take control of the whole world yes. as Christians. Right. So, 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 so we ought to be grateful. In times of adversity, mm -hmm. trials and tribulations, because if we reflect back on where we came from when we couldn't vote, mm -hmm. when only white landowners could vote, when, when only white men and black men could vote, and, and, and then now women can vote, reflect back on the fact that we never had a female president, but now we got a content, a real content. Mm -hmm. We ought to be grateful. Yeah. Yeah. That God is still in the blessed peace. Yeah. Yeah. Despite all that we've gone through. The Bible says in James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4, consider it pure joy. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, it's going to be some good coming out. Yes, it is. Amen. Remember, tough times don't last, but tough people do. And if we don't give up, we shall reap if we faint. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 4 16 and 18. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Yeah. Romans 8, 28 tells us, and we know, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him and who have been called according to his purpose. If it ain't working out for you, are you called according to his purpose? Oh, Are you walking in his will? Oh, Are you doing what God told you to do? Oh, Bible tells us study uh -huh. to show ourselves approved. Working to God, we do not be ashamed. Rightly divide the word of truth. Amen. So we show gratitude because it is a command of God. We show gratitude in worship and in prayer. We show gratitude in adversity. Yes, sir. We show gratitude in our relationships in our daily life. We ought to be grateful yes. for our family. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, I know we don't have the best family, some of us. We, we got dysfunctional families, a lot of us, but we ought to be grateful we were born in that family yes. because we either know what to do or what not to do. Yes. Come on. I knew that I was not to be an alcoholic if I 
wanted a good life for myself. I knew that I did not want to have much kids if, if I wanted a good life for myself. We, we learned what not to do. I knew I didn't want to be hooked on crack, cocaine, or white hell. In my family, and so, 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 you give thanks yeah. in your relationship. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some people have good mothers and fathers, though, so you, you gotta give thanks for them. Yeah. 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 And if you had bad ones, give thanks for them as well. Yeah. Thank them that they showed you what not to do. Yeah. Yeah. Thank them that they showed you to stay out of jail. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We ought to give thanks yeah. to God, the Father. For everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, the word. Mm -hmm. Philippians 1 and 3. Paul told them, I thank my God every time I remember you. Yeah. Every time I think about James, Teddy Hankins, Jr., my father, I thank God for him. Right. He was at the harlot, but he always told me he loved me. Mm -hmm. And as he taught me to tell my children that. They like my dad crazy, but I love you. That's what matters the most. Thank God for my grandma, Curtis Hankins. Even though she had an eighth grade education, she knew to send me to school. Yeah. And then when I joined up with Bound, she didn't make me stop. She said, she just told me, you're just going to do what you want to do. And I said, yes, ma'am. Because I knew I couldn't live in the projects all my life. Yeah. So we give thanks yeah. in our relationship. Some of us got ex-wives, ex-husbands. You ought to thank God for them. Amen. 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 They showed you what a marriage not supposed to be. Okay? Amen. Well, maybe you showed them what a marriage is. <laughs> but you give thanks. Yeah. Thank God for your crazy nephews and nieces. Thank God for you. Praise the uncles. Thank God for the same uncles, the rich uncles, the broke uncles. Thank God in all relationships. Thank God for the boss who wants you to come to work on time and stay late. Thank God for that boss who wants you to be an honest employee, who wants you to put in your eight hours. Because remember now, when you do more work than you're paid for, eventually they'll pay you for more than what you do. I'm going to say that again for the one of the people in the back. Uh, if you do more, then you get paid for it. Eventually, they'll pay you for more than what you do. Amen. Amen. Thank God for those bosses and, and your friends. Thank God in your relationship. Amen. We ought to thank God in our abundance, in times of abundance and prosperity. We ought to thank God. I thank God for the 80s and the 90s. Yes. Yes. You talking about some abundance and prosperity? You talking about some good music came out the 90s? Yes, yes. Now, it's good music came out in the 60s and 70s, too. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. But compared to what's coming out now, I thank God <laughs> for those times. Jesus demonstrated gratitude. Jesus demonstrated gratitude when he mm -hmm. took the two fish and five loaves of bread yes. and it multiplied. You see, when we Thank God for the little we got. You yeah, multiply. Yeah. You thank God for that house. You thank God for them children. Eventually, you're going to be a grandparent, a great grandparent. It's going gonna, it's gonna to multiply. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Philippians 1 and 12, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I am grateful. Yes. We ought to be grateful. Uh, Ecclesiastes 5.19 says, Moreover, when God gives someone wealth and possessions and the ability to enjoy them, to accept their lot and happy is their toil. This is a gift. Of uh, God. So we ought to be grateful in our relationships. Yes, sir. And the question is why? Why, 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 why? Why, why should I be grateful? I'm glad you asked. Mm -hmm. You ought to be grateful because the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. God is ever faithful. Yes, sir. Even when we are faithless, God oh. is ever faithful. Yes, yes, yes. The Bible says his mercies never come to an end. Yes, they are new every moment. Yes, Great is God's faithfulness. Yes. The Bible says not only is his faithfulness never come to an end, but it extends to the heavens. 
and it endures forever. Yes, look, look what it says, Psalm 30, 65, your steadfast love, O oh Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Mm -hmm. That's some great faithfulness. Yes. Yeah. And so I'm grateful for it. Oh, yes. oh, yes. Because when I do wrong, mm -hmm. God is still faithful. And when I do right, God is even more faithful. Because then yeah. God blesses me. Amen. Amen. I'm faithful. Yeah. Give thanks to the Lord. Yes. For he is good. Yes. His love endures forever. Thank you, God. Gratitude should be a lifestyle for us as Christians. Instead of grumbling, I want us to choose gratitude. Yes. Amen. Thank God for that little job. Because mm -hmm. it's going to lead to a career. Thank Do God. not despise small beginnings. Yes. They will grow to be large beginnings. Or a large ending. If you do not think. Remember, God has not promised us sunshine. That's not how it's going to be. But a little rain uh -huh. mixed with God's sunshine. Yes. A little pain makes me appreciate the time. Oh, yes. Be grateful. Be grateful. Be grateful. Yes, sir. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Let's stand. Amen. Friends, let us remember that gratitude is not just a feeling, Amen. but it is a command. Yeah. When we cultivate a heart of thankfulness in all areas of our lives, we honor the Lord. And experience God's presence in profound ways in the midst of all you're going through when you say thank you. It makes you feel so much better. Yeah. So when that pain hits you, say thank you. And when they send their meal, say thank you. Because you got it. You got it. Don't go to Starbucks this week. Don't go to McDonald's or Burger King. You got it. It's how you spend it. Amen. Operation Hope will help you get your finances together. Dave Ramsey, Baby Steps will help you get your finances together. Because that, that'd be the major issue with most of us. We need some discipline. Start changing around. What the Bible say? Write the vision. Everybody get the same 24 hours. What are we doing with it? What are we doing with it? Let us do well with it. Let us be great. Gratitude turn. Everybody should have one. Every morning. Thank God. Start shifting our focus. Our lives will change. Doors of the church now open. Won't you come? Give your heart, God, and your hands to the preach. Won't you come? Won't you come? Here, give you a brand new life. Yeah.